If I had to describe my most memorable experience here, it would be difficult to pinpoint one specific experience, only because every clinical experience I've had, every community service experience I've had has been quite remarkable in the tremendous amount of learning that I've able to take away from those moments. Um, when we're on the floors, we not only think about what the patient needs at that moment in time, there's also just a tremendous effort, a team collaborative effort, I would say, of ensuring resources that the patient would need once they leave the hospital too. And here in Flint, we have um, a tremendous amount of social determinants of health also coming into play for every patient that would present to us on the floors. So every case is incredibly complex and often there's just uh, a wide variety of interdisciplinary um, uh, approaches that we have to take to make sure that this patient is fully taken care of. And so every single encounter I've had has been just an amazing um, example of exactly what patient care should be on so many different levels. And so I've just been fortunate enough to learn an incredible amount with every single clinical experience I've had. I think my most memorable experience by far has been the last two months. Um, as, as one of the LMU students, uh, I, I stayed local and I've been working with Dr. Hanna uh, with, with regards to the lead issue and I really have, have been thrown in uh, working on all aspects of healthcare from health policy to public health to uh, working in the clinics, taking care of patients that have been affected by the lead crisis and I really feel like this has been a great summary of my education as a whole at CHM where it's been very focused on taking care of the underserved, uh, making a difference, and really using your voice as a physician to, to increase awareness to the public of, of a public health issue. And I really feel like these last two months have really allowed me to see firsthand what a phys the impact a physician can have on a community. I'd say there's been a, a number of memorable experiences here in Flint. And when I was jogging my memory, I just remembered my first memorable experience, and I wanted to touch upon that. When I started as an OB-GYN uh, medical student here on the, on the Hurley Medical System, Hurley Medical, uh, Hurley Hospital System, and I was on nights, and I, we ended up giving uh, a, a woman was preeclamptic, and her her baby was 24 weeks gestational age, and we ended up having to deliver uh, the baby, and this baby was 400 grams. Um, it's it was like a little Ken doll, it was just the smallest thing I'd ever seen, and we got to help. Um, resuscitate the baby, make sure that he was uh, adapt to the external environment. I get to help um, firsthand with putting in um, umbilical artery catheters and umbilical vein catheters, something that I don't know many people that get a chance to do, but uh, something that was very memorable to me was, was helping that infant as well as talking with the mother and, and kind of coaching her through the experience that was probably one of the most difficult she's had to deal with. Um, I can imagine, especially with a baby that she was worried about um, and her own health concerns. So my most memorable clinical experience here um, had to be during my very first rotation as a third year medical student, which now seems like almost a distant memory, but um, at the time I started my third year doing the internal medicine uh, rotation. and. I remember this very specifically that, you know, during the internal medicine rotation, you're really learning a lot about clinical medicine. You're learning about um, the various disease processes and how patients experience them, as well as the labs that you need to look up that you're making sure that you're updating your residents and your attendings about. And so I had this one patient who, um, he had CHF and he was also having some kidney failure. And this combination of congestive heart failure and kidney failure is really hard on the body. Um, and he was admitted to the hospital for a CHF exacerbation. It wasn't the first time that he had been admitted, but unfortunately, um, the CHF wasn't getting better. And the problem when you have CHF is that you can't treat it as aggressively if you have kidney failure as well. Um, so both systems were worsening. I particularly remember that morning looking at his chart and going through all the labs and making sure I knew all the different things that were going on with him clinically. 
and I, for I forgot to mention that he's also a stroke patient. After he had a stroke, his primary caregiver was his daughter, and when I went to go to his room that morning, um, I was the first person that his daughter had interacted with that day. The day before, we had talked to the daughter about, you know, considering what options there are for her father, and the day before was when the, was the first time that we started talking about palliative care options. Um, so when I got to that room, as the bright-eyed, bushy-tailed medical student that I was, I was not prepared um, to have the daughter just break down in tears to me. Um, and that was when I realized this is what medicine is all about. This is why we do what we do. We do need to know the medicine. We do need to know the science. All of that is very important for the management of the patient. But more than that, the other side of medicine is the human aspect of it. And just being there and being there to comfort her in that moment when she just needed somebody to talk to and somebody to cry to. And all I did was listen to her. There wasn't much more that I could do as a medical student, but in fact, that was all that she needed. So um, I really, it was the most memorable experience because it was so early on in my training, but at the same time, it stuck with me. Um, and I think it will probably stick with me for the rest of my career.